their biggest issue is in the conversion of those shots. Um, endpoint Ooh. converting somewhere, I think it was like 23%. Oh. Exotic, gonna find it. They'll convert here as I'm talking about how they weren't converting today. Uh, you know, coming into the match at 17%, but who cares? You got the opening goal in the opening minute here. You're leading this so far. Percentage of Solari, but really so far, Solari's the one getting it done. Endpoint has had some really big whiffs and some shots that are just off target when they do oh. connect. Oh, Oh. Love this play from Carry, and he goes in front of the ball almost with a fake, and he knows Exotic has it. He's just making the defense bite, and it froze Metzenaris just long enough to keep him and send it to overtime. Exotic gets bumped by Relating Wave. Good steal there, but he whiffs on that ball, but gets it forward to Metzenaris, and here's a good chance to oh. Relating Wave with a demo, and just like that, the lead cut back down to one. Yeah, I told you Virtuoso was going to be in your face. Relating Wave, on the other hand, he's going to come in and stab you right in the back. Takes him off the pitch, getting this ball downfield, and they're going to need a tight, quick rotation here. Oh, and Relating Wave, that's going to waterfall, but Yuki saw it coming, put himself perfectly on the backboard. Ooh, and Mets. look at that shot from Mets. Upper 90, and I think it was Virtuoso creating disruption and havoc in the net. Yeah, he's just harassing Exotic, relating wave on his way back out. Aris, a big whiff from Metzenaris, and right now Endpoint struggling here on defense to get this ball out of their half. Good demo by Virtuoso, opens things up, relating wave, has the target, has the shot, has oh. the goal, and just like that, Endpoint with the 47 second turnaround gets three goals. Endpoint has just flipped this game on its head. Oh. Rough, rough way to lose this game number one. And Exotic looking to keep it alive, but Relating Wave smashes it into the corner. And game one goes in favor of End. Jammed in the corner. We got five out of six all in the corner. Not typically what you want to see, but everybody feels like they need a piece of that. Sometimes you just, uh, you're playing what my ball. This? I don't know what no. that touch is, but Carrion knew, and Yukis was there for the follow through. Somehow gets the oh, it hit what? the back he, end of he, him. He ran, he ran out of boost. And Exotic still following through, still feathering the boost, but relating wave turns him down in 23 seconds. Fast break opportunity. Metzenaris trying to carry it oh. through and dunks it right in the face of Carrion. Just like that, we've got a 1-1 game. Close it down, throws it forward, knows that Karrion's going to make the touch, leaves the ground before it ever... Just kidding. <laughs> no, I know for me, when... Oh, nice defense there. When I get into a... I'm the guy that can't look at it. I have to look at it. Oh, oh Metzenaris! Norris with the double tap! I, I think I need to cast standing all the time. Every time something like this happens, having wireless headphones and just being able to kind of like run back and forth across my room and then walk back. This is fantastic. I love standing and casting. It gets so hyped for this stuff. Men even got their win in what would have been the final minute of a second regulation in the OT. Yeah, they... it, it seems like it takes about four minutes for them to figure out what they want to do. Oh. Yukis can't get it in. Kyrian though, they all send the house. Solari gets the finish. They're able to convert that and one and once again. In control, up one. And up. you can't send the house here. Carrion has the look. He has the shot. Expecting you to make that touch. So they're moving to make that read, and it ends up putting them out of position. Um, the number of times that we've seen whiffs today, it's oh. been a little scary. And, you know, that's not exactly a whiff. I mean, you you put it in the net, but that's the wrong end there, Metza. Bum, bum, ba -da, ba. Maybe this is exactly what they want. Maybe they wrote it up and the script has it perfectly because we've seen what they can do. And maybe they can come back from 3-0. Who knows? But great offense here from Carrion and crew. Yeah, Solari getting it done here. They've they've figured something out. They've pieced this together. They're doing a good job. They've blocked a lot of these shots. And it looks like it's going to take game three for them. So see if they can maintain that as they get to the next series. I don't know that Endpoint can pull Ooh. off three. I, never mind. I'm not, I'm stopping. Stop it right there. I'm not going to finish that, that thought or that. Thing. My goodness. Great shot off of the side wall from Relating Wave. 
pucks it right underneath the crossbar and the comeback has begun. Two goals in 29 seconds is absolutely doable. We have seen it happen in this series already. This is true, and there's another one. Relating Wave puts Not it in like this. five seconds later. Oh, Solari, not like this. You can't let this. The length of the field, and that's a good touch, but a better touch by Exotic. And Virtuoso can't keep that one alive. Relating Wave oh. gets the touch, oh. but it ends up hitting the ground and Solari can wipe the sweat from their brow. It was a close. More comfortable in the mechanical ability of them all go up. They're staying with the ball. They're maintaining that boost. They know they're coming down. They're gonna just look oh, for that got him. And, Oh, that's a freebie. Metzenar is gonna walk it in off the pass from Relating Wave. Coming a little too far forward is Solari. They overcommit that third man and they just cannot get back in time. Oh, got caught. Oh, here, Endpoint need to get this ball out of their own half. Virtuoso going with that breakdancing meta. Not sure if it's working out there for him. As Yukis drops it down. Carry oh, it, what puts it pass. in, and tie ball game. What a pass. I was about to say they need to get in there and get a bit more aggressive on the line and bump somebody, get somebody out of, out of rotation. Hasn't it? It's been so fun to watch both these teams battling so hard. And just got confirmation, not a record but still mighty impressive as Ooh. Exotic gonna send us into game number five. Hello, Champions Field. We are going to game five here. Tournament life on the line for both of these teams. No better way to do it than this. Last three times they have met up. The side monitor, I'm still trying to figure out. I, I, it may not have been a record, Apparently, Scrub Killer had 12 saves earlier this season, but they oh, had like no. an 11 minute OT Exotic. or something. Exotic! Opens it up. Solari in the lead here. Your pick's looking like uh, may not get it done, but then again, Endpoint doesn't like to play until about the final 45. Lady Wave, who's going to clear it out. Metzenar is not really set up to be able to make a play on that ball, and Yukis. Sneaks it around and that should go straight into no the way, lane. He's way up. down. Oh my god. In the air. Oh my god. What is this play? <laughs> oh my god. Look at him. Watch Virtuoso off screen. Comes off the ceiling. He's up an oh. hour ago and somehow connects mid air. You have got. Day. Like, rather than give out like an MVP of the tournament, can we just give like defensive player of the day to Relating Wave? He seems to just always be there. He is just shot, pulling them out of. Oh! He does it all! Relating Wave gets a demo off screen. You saw the smoke there and then just says, hey, I'm still here. I'm going to go up and put a shot on target. Oh. Great clear there by Metzenaris and Exotic has to catch up to this. They have to go the full length of the field. It's a tall order and it's not going to happen. Endpoint, secure the victory here and